Well, the ionic bypass compensator flux readings have been low for three straight shifts. 21, 19, and 23 picococcorans. Maybe you ought to adjust the Cadian delta ray collimator. Nah, the flux reading is bound to come up. The system's designed to run right around 30 picococcorans, give or take a little. The law of averages says it'll come up soon, especially since it's been below average for so long. Yeah, I guess you're right. It cannot stay low forever. Nope. So, how are the performance evaluations for the geology department coming, Klaus? Almost done, Tex. Just one more to do. Lieutenant Cronin. Impressive guy. He's the one who got the captain's award for the best time on the ship's track team, right? Yeah, and he always keeps a neat appearance. He will get a good review, all right. No need for me to even check into his work performance. That's right. Saves you some time. Excuse me, gentlemen. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, sir? The reasoning you're both employing is not logical. In fact, you both are exhibiting cognitive biases. I thought we were making very good sense. That may seem so, but bias is affecting your judgment. Lieutenant Austin, when you trusted that the flux would soon return to a higher value, to make it average to the usual value, you were exhibiting the gambler's fallacy. This is a misleading belief that if something happens at a higher than average rate, or value, during some period, it will then happen at a lower rate or value in the future to maintain the average, or vice versa. When the occurrence is truly random, this belief, though appealing, is false. The gambler's fallacy is a particular application of the so-called law of averages. There is no such law. Oh, well that makes sense. Thank you, Mr. Spot. Yes, and Mr. Yeager, when contemplating Mr. Cronin's performance, you exhibited the halo effect when you considered certain cosmetic and unrelated positive attributes of him, which you assumed also meant he must be competent in his geology duties without checking his actual job performance. Yavor, I never realized. I shall rethink my way of doing these reviews. That would be best. Even if it seems that one is thinking rationally, one must always strive to avoid giving in to cognitive biases such as the halo effect or the gambler's fallacy. These biases are systematic patterns of deviation from rationality and judgment, causing judgments to be made in an illogical fashion. Care must be taken to mitigate these biases to ensure proper reasoning. It's only logical. 